Hello friends! It is time. Dan Stevens, we meet again. <laughs> it is Abigail Day. Happy Abigail Day, everybody. As someone who does not watch trailers, I have seen this trailer so many times. There has been no way to escape it. The marketing is a lot and it gave away what I think might be the whole film, but maybe there's still something hiding. There's something in store. But the good news is I'm still very much excited about this project. This is directed by the Radio Silence duo and it stars Catherine Newton, Dan Stevens, Melissa Barrera, yay! Giancarlo Esposito. And this was the late and great Angus Cloud's last project, which is very devastating. The film is about a group of criminals who kidnap a ballerina who is the daughter of a powerful underworld figure. But this is no average little girl. Get your ballet flats, ballet shoes free, because Abigail is a ballerina like none other. I'm gonna see how early it reveals its cards as to if I talk about that at the end, uh, but if you've seen any trailer, you know what's going on here. Also, of course, I cut any spoilers out of the trailer when I show you them. If you didn't know, you are welcome. If you had managed to avoid it. Of course, this is the Untitled Universal Project I talked about at the start of the year when I talked about 40 horror films that are coming up this year. And it had been revealed that Radio Silence were working on something else instead of Scream. And I'm really excited to see what they do with this script. It's labeled as a horror thriller. I did think by the trailer, it seemed a little bit more action, maybe even comedy. But I will tell you whether it's worth your time, tonally what it is, <laughs> and let you know whether it's much more than the trailer or, or we got exactly what they advertised, which you can't blame that, but you know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm very excited to take you guys along with me to the Perth premiere of Abigail. Let's go. I just got out of Abigail! I loved it. It was so fun. It was so... I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess the trailer, but it was just such a fun ride. Um, although I do want to say straight off the bat, when I was walking out, I was I watched the trailers, <laughs> the first one and the second one, um, because I hadn't seen, although I'd seen the first one a couple of times, um, I really wanted to see what imagery they used to see if it gave away all of it, because it was a little bit more complex than uh, I got from the trailer the first time I saw it. And it really, if you look there, they really gave away basically everything, which I'm really sad about because that film was so good and it didn't have to have two trailers that were completely different. The second one is basically showing you a whole scene and I just don't know why they did that because this film has so many fun surprises. It is very radio silence. It is the perfect addition to what we've got from them already, Ready or Not, the Scream movies. I honestly think that this matches their stylization and really cements what kind of horror movies make a radio silence movie. It was very horror thriller in terms of the mystery around it. I would have said it was mystery as well, but there is a lot of fun in it. I wouldn't say it's entirely a popcorn horror. It's very similar in the feeling as Ready or Not, where it's a horrific situation, but there's still those fun one-liners. And what I really like about their films is the characters. And these, the cast in this film is really what makes it. I mean, there's so many different reasons I love this film. But let's start there. Melissa Barrera is, she is so good in this and she truly shines. What happened in Scream was a travesty and this film really gives the middle finger to that, I have to say. Uh, Angus Cloud was amazing as he always was. And Catherine Newton, she is a star in this film. But I think we have to give major props to Little Abigail. Played by Alicia Weir. 
I thought she was fantastic. The chemistry between all of them was perfect. It was so fun to get to know every single character and you really cared about their backstory to a certain extent. I'm looking at you, Dan Stevens. They were all really fun, dynamic, and different, basically because they're all different parts of putting together a job, you know, a kidnapping job, so they all have specialties, so they're all very unique, and putting that many personalities in one house is a really fun idea for a horror movie. So in this movie, not only do they just kidnap Abigail, they take her to a location where they're going to be there with her, looking after her for 24 hours until they get a ransom. So the idea of them in this house while they discover things about her dark past, let's say that, I know all of you know, and that they have so many clashing characters with different backgrounds and backstories, it's really interesting that it all still feels mysterious because there's so many people. And usually I don't like when there's a lot of characters, but everyone was so unique and fun in their own way so I really enjoyed the dynamics between them. I love the look of this film. It's just so beautiful to look at and fun. It had a very warm tone to it and it's set in this old kind of like haunted-esque house. Uh, it feels you know that old gothic feeling and uh, I just thought the set design was really cool especially if you like one location horrors where they're set inside of one grand location and this definitely gives it that gothic setting which I really appreciated and it it really does feel like a murder mystery in a way because it's in like a haunted kind of, it's not a haunted house, but it's in a haunted house. Do you know what I mean? Uh, a mysterious house. So I really liked that element and they do have a nod towards Agatha Christie as well, which I thought was cool. Not only that, the best part about this film is it's grisly. It's got grisly gore. And I was really sad to see there is a lot of this in the trailer, but there is some that you probably won't expect. And the timing is just offbeat. Um, it got me a couple of times or I was really surprised with what they did. Uh, there is a couple of moments I'm just thinking fresh in my mind and I, I know people are going to absolutely love seeing those moments on the big screen. This is definitely a horror movie that you'll want to enjoy in in the cinema if you can because it's such fun. It's such a fun one to see with a crowd and it's just hypnotizing. It really drawed me in and within seconds I was so curious about these characters but then the situations that unravel are just so dire and interesting and unique and I just really loved how it all came together but the gore was next level and I was not expecting that. I knew it would be a little bit bloody um, but everyone was squirming in their seats and there's some really cool action sequences. I would say there's a lot of action in this film and a lot of blood. So much blood. <laughs> On the gore as well I was really into not only the special effects makeup and the intention to detail to that, uh, I also loved how they played with light and shadow and you do see this in part of the trailer with um, Abigail dancing, it's not really a spoiler, but with her dancing, her shadow, and I felt like they found ways to play with the light in really subtle moments um, and I, I just really liked the look. It was just so gritty and contrasted and there was a shot near the end that was, I think it was maybe like the third last shot, it's just my perfect idea of a beautiful gritty texture and um, really showing that rawness and the contrast and I just loved the way it looked in regards to that. One thing I will say about the film though that really tripped me up was the ending. The ending is not a bad ending per se, it's just very extended and I felt like the movie had such a fun interesting pace and really sped up when you, you know all of the mystery unfolds and I do think that there's going to be some surprises in the storyline for a lot of people even if you have seen both trailers. Um, it is like I said a mystery but the ending it just it really felt like we were there for a long time and the film goes for one like just 10 minutes short of two hours so, so one hour and 49 minutes. It was just a little bit slowed down towards the end for kind of a grand finale and I felt like with everything else the action sequences and everything being so sharp quick gory and bloody it was a very strange tonal shift to kind of slow that down because it's a dire situation we should not be we should not be taking our time <laughs> i think that this film is going to have a lot of surprises the makeup is perfection and if you like gore and you like fun popcorn horror movies that have 
a bit of depth to them. Um, I think this film is a really fun balance of just going in there, having a good time, not thinking too much, but also loving the approach that someone can take to a subgenre we've seen time and time again. And I really do like Radio Silence or Matt and Tyler. Uh, I think that they create some really fun, fresh horror movies that don't step too far out of the zone, but give us a kind of a taste of what we want, or maybe like a certain standard of what we're looking for when we go to the cinema at least. I don't always think I'm going to see the most unique film, but I know that they're going to do it to the best of their ability and they're going to take a script and really take it all the way. And I think that they've shown that with Scream and I think they did so with this subject matter. Overall, I think this is definitely worth your time and it's worth supporting. You need to get your butt in the seats. I know going to the cinema is very expensive, but if you can't do that, make sure you rent it. This film is very important for horror fans if you want to see more fun, high production horror movies that cast great actors and support them. This is the one. This is the one, guys. And I really enjoyed it. I am going between a 7 and an 8 for this one. I find it really hard because the ending was so slow. Um, but I'm, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm giving it an 8. Because <laughs> I think that the intent was bang on. Um, and I just really enjoyed all of the roles. I really love Catherine Newton now. I'm looking out for everything she's in. For scare gore, I know this is a new thing. We keep bringing up the gore. Because movies these days rely more on gore than scare. And you know what? I'm not complaining. Uh, I think that this one is quite gory. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Get out. See Abigail. I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as me. I am enthusiastic about this one because I think it's a solid... <laughs> I think it's a solid film. It's a fun one. It's not too deep, but it is a good time. And if you are a horror fan who enjoys that, and if you liked Ready or Not and the new Scream, it is on point with what they have shown us before. So get excited and I hope you guys like it. Have you seen it? Let me know down below your thoughts. And last week I saw a new spider film, Sting. Have you checked out this one? Make sure you check out this video here and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye friends.